Alright guys, welcome back. I have a great video today showing four different things that you can do in Canva. How to create Canva backgrounds, custom backgrounds, icons, text patterns, and gradient graphics and, and beautiful design. So that when you upload your images to your page builder, in this case, I'm going to use click funnels and you'll be able to make them beautiful without using Photoshop, Sketch or Figma if you are not really into those softwares or maybe you're not techy, you just want something simple, then Canva will do. I know some people say, oh, you're not designing if you're using Canva. I'll show you what you can do in Canva. So we're gonna open ClickFunnels. This is my ClickFunnels account. I have the funnel open. We can see the funnel steps. I'm just gonna edit this first one. And at the end of this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you this template so you can just one click install it into your account and then uh, just change out your images with this tutorial, this training using Canva. And so make sure you check the link in the description below. Also, if you want access to the full course, also link is in the description where I have hundreds of videos showing you guys tutorials, how to create beautiful funnels. Now let's get into the tutorial. So we have click funnels here. We have a, a, an image here, we have a logo and we have backgrounds, we have different graphics. And what I'm gonna do is start with the background. So you can see in Canva, you can pretty much just create any type of graphics that you want. And so I'm gonna go with this one, the presentation, because it has the right dimensions. I even have it open here. It's a 1980, so 1980 pixels to 1080p. So it's, it's the perfect size for a banner, as you can see here, if I make this smaller okay so where i'm gonna go is here and i'm just gonna add a layer to an image and make the text pop so i'm gonna make the, the text white on a dark background what i'll do is i'll click background and i can see different patterns that they have i am going to go with something i'm gonna go with this but then i'm also gonna pick a image beneath this so i'm gonna kind of mix them together because what you can do is you can just reduce this to like 10 percent and then click it again and choose a color so like this one for example now i have it more subtle in the background so i could pick any color i would still see the pattern in there maybe even 20. what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go with this navy blue but then i'm also gonna choose like city for an example let's say i want to use this and what i would highly recommend that you do is actually choose something that is personal. So this is a stock image and sometimes it can look good, but sometimes also it's better to have something that's more personal. So if you want to combine two images, you can see how you can get this background image uh, while also keeping the pattern there. Okay. And then here, for an example, I think what I would do is just choose one image. So either a pattern or an image, and I would just move it like that and reduce this down to like 10 or seven, probably seven. I'm gonna go with that and I'm just gonna click here, download it as a JPEG, 80% and just page two. You can see your page two. Look at this dude. <laughs> download, boom. Two very boring minutes later. Now I can see we upload the wrong one. So what I'm going to do is just download it again to make sure that I get the, the right one. Also, normally before I upload an image like this, I would compress the file size for faster load speed, but this will do for sake of this video. Now we want to change this image right here of me. So I have created, if you go here, you create a design, you can actually choose custom dimensions. So like 600 to 800, depending on what images that you want to use. That's what I'm going to go with. Then I'm going to go to uploads and I'm actually going to upload an image of me. So let me just go here, type in Gusten and boom, I could probably use something else. I would probably be able to use 600 times 600 or 800 times 800. So what I can do is actually go in here and let's make it 600. So it's the same size here as it is when you're uploading it to ClickFunnels. So for an example, if the background is 1920 pixels times uh, 1080 then one image on the side would be around 600 pixels or maybe 500 to 500 pixels sometimes 700 to 700 so if you upload it with that with those dimensions it will perform better 
because again the page load speed it's not going to be blurry all of that so now and here's one of the best secrets two backgrounds in canva and that is their custom graphics their gradients and a lot of like their pre-built library of just different objects so we'll go to elements and i'm gonna type in for an example 3d render these are also some of the graphics that you can use to backgrounds and stuff like that some of these when you click them for an example you click this you can see magic recommendations then you can click see all so then you can get a couple of these so let's say that i want to have some of these you can position this behind by the way if this image would have had a background to it I could then just go to effects and I can delete the background. So background remover, I would just click this and boom, it works as magic. It's not as good as clipping magic in my opinion, but it's fast, it's in here. And so if you have a, a background, then it would have covered this one. So you just wanna remove that. You could use a lot of these 3D renders, graphics, whatever you wanna call them, objects. Play around with this a little bit and see if I would use these. It depends on what, what the subject is, what the brand is. I'll type in gradient. I wanna have 3D though. I like 3D for the first one at least. Here we have this type of, of graphics as well. I like blobs. So these for an example, if I, if I had to delete all of this other stuff here and just use these, I could still make something really cool from just these. Anyways, these are things that you have to play around with. As you see, you'll never just open it, find one and then move on. You want to play around with it. But let me actually download this one and then we'll do one more so that I can show you. OK, transparent background. Yeah, because we don't want this white background. So you need Canva premium. It's ten dollars. You can cancel if you don't want to use it afterwards. We're going to use it for all of our graphics because we don't want that uh, white background. Except if you have a white background in, in your section. So here, for an example, let me show this as well. So if it was a grayish or bluish background like this, I could just grab this, go to Canva, and I could add that to, to the background as well. So now when I download it, if I don't have premium, I would still be able to make this look great on the click funnel section because it's the same color so anyways uh, i'll do one more let's just save that one we'll duplicate it and i'll move me to the side delete this and then i'll go to elements and i'll just delete this go down to graphics there should be one that says gradient okay so here there's actually new ones being added all the time so i recommend that you go back and check all of these but for an example again we find graphics here we'll do one more and you can change colors on most of these if i want to use this i could move this around just like that change it to let's say i want to have a more warm color i like when the image of me or the person goes outside of this graphic behind it so for an example, if you use something like this and the image is here, you're taking up too much focus on the graphic. You don't want the focus to be the graphic. You want the focus to be the person. The sign should always communicate something. So that's why you add some personality with these designs or these graphics, but you don't want it to take over the entire graphic. So in Sketch, in Figma, in Photoshop, you can obviously use a graphic like this and then you can double click it and you can move this around to make them whatever format you want but in canva because these are pre-uploaded graphics you can't change uh, how they look i mean you can change how they look but not the actual form of the object in itself so if it's round it's round if it's a rectangle it's a rectangle so that's the the, the main difference but now i think you get the point with this again there is a lot in here as you can tell one thing that I didn't mention in the background section is as well, if you want to use a pattern, you could do the same thing. So I'm just going to delete this, make it white background, go back to elements and go to a couple of things here. If you want to use these graphics as a background, you can look at that for an example. You could have something like that. You could 
add small icons, graphics to it. You could also add just this. If you wanted to have something subtle, you can either do it like that, or you can make them super big. And for an example, reduce the opacity. So let's say that you want to have something like that. You can also just make it, you know, more subtle in the background and then if you look at a lot of landing pages on Pinterest or Dribbble, they usually have something in the background where it's like a pattern. It's not that obvious, but if you look for it, you'll see these blobs and circles and rectangles in the background. And so just by reducing the opacity, there's a lot that you can do just with that. But what I actually wanted to share was if we go to uh, elements, we go to graphics and we go to gradient, we can go down to where we saw a lot of the patterns. So like this, for an example, if you wanted to make a background that has something along these lines, again, you would just click here. Some of these you can change colors, some of them you can't. So then uh, what you would do again, go to 20% opacity and then change this to something like that. Uh, I see the tint still of the red. So anyways, again, things that you gotta play around with one more thing <laughs> I, I know i keep saying one more thing there's so much i want to show you that i keep going one more thing uh and that is if you go to uh, something that's gradient like this again if you add an image in here you'll have darker tones here on the sides which is great for uh, when you want to highlight the the focus on the center here so sometimes you want to have an image with a gradient like this you would then just drag it out like that. Again, have a photo. City. Oh, it's a video. But still, you can add these tints, if you will, layers of colors on top of any uh, image. So it doesn't have to be just one color. You can add gradients and now you, you can change that. So if you want it to be more like that, you reduce this and then you'll see uh, the object behind it. So anyways, going back to the graphics, where is it is here. So one more thing we have this right here. What I'm going to try to find now is actually I'm going to go with this. So I'm going to change the color of these if I can. Okay. It looks like I can change these. So uh, I'm actually going to go with like a blue, blue, white. Okay, and let this fade into the background. Backwards, I'm gonna flip it. But what if we did the, the other way around? Yeah, maybe that's better. So this is what I like, Sketch better or Figma if you're on Windows because you can delete one of these. You can just click and, and delete. You can add your own lines and you can change the direction of them. I mean, I can do that here as well, but if I just wanted to delete one of them, I could do that in any other software, but here, I'm not able to just delete like one thing. I would have to crop the image like this and not. Anyways, you get the point. Okay, so I think we're spending too much time on this. Let me just show you what this would look like if I download it. Transparent background, all of them, yes. Awesome, I'm just gonna upload these to ClickFunnels. Okay, so now you can see the first example here. I'm not a big fan. I'm very picky with my graphics. I'm not a big fan. I don't think this looks great yet. This is why you want to play around with it and find your own. Like, yeah, now it doesn't make sense to have it faded out to white because it's not a white background. So I would never use this. Looks like I have arrows in my back. This is more subtle. Again, you can see kind of how, how this works. You know what I could actually do? I could use these colors. So if I want to have a gradient button, I could use this color on a circle behind me, kind of have the same branding to it. So anyways, we will now go to the next step in this funnel, which is to change the logo. So I could then use this one, for example, 400 times 80. And I'm just going to click like icon, for an example, funnel icon. Got ourselves a beautiful logo again. And there we go. 
Uh, by the way, I would not recommend that you use these icons or sim graphics, whatever you want to call them, as your official logo, because I don't know, with copyrights, stuff like that. So I just want to uh, make sure that you understand that there's legal stuff involved with using other people's stuff. But I just want to show you how I would create this. If you had your own graphic or icon, you just wanted to maybe add your text to it. What you want to do is make sure you have as little spacing as possible. So I'll just drag this out just like that. And then I can hit download transparent background. So there's no background there. And then I just, yeah, I can compress the file as well. So it's not too big. There's my logo, not the most beautiful one, but let's see. And so image width, we'll go with 250. Logo is not that important and it doesn't have to be big. So I can even move this up a little bit. Minus 10 is good. Now we just have to upload all of our images, similar to what we did here. Talk about your offer, talk about the community, talk about yourself, your hero section, and introduce your offer and just give them one option for them to go to the next step. So one more thing though that I wanted to add that I've written down here is icons. And lastly, I'm gonna show you some text patterns. But for icons, we're gonna use 100 to 100 pixels. And I'm gonna go to elements and just click icon gradient. Because I have the pro version of, of Canva, I can use for an example, this one right here. Boom. I'm gonna go to shapes. And I'm going to make them first. I'm going to try this again as big as possible while still fitting them into this space. And then this, you don't want it to take too much space, but probably something like that. What I could also do if I duplicate this, I could make, let's say I want to have three icons. We'll do the same with this one. Again, obviously the icon has to communicate what I'm trying to say. So if I'm talking about business, this is what I would do. I would type in business icon. And then I can find, you know, icons that are relevant to what I'm trying to say. So if I'm saying three ways or like super simple to get started or get started today in, in three simple steps, then I have pick a deal that works for you. I could have something like, uh, set up your portfolio. This icon could communicate that. So if I wanted to do this the opposite way, I could do that as well, where I have like a, a light background and darker icon on top of it. And then what I'll do is I'm not going to download this entire square. I'm just going to click transparent background. So that way it's just going to download the icons here and I upload it to click funnels here. One more thing is text patterns. So you might have seen me use these quite a lot, but still want to show you what it looks like. So let's say I want to use this image still. We could go down here to the ones that they already give you in Canva. So uh, I want to add text behind me to create a text pattern. So I'm just going to type in Gusten, be Gusten. Something like that, but I don't like this icon, so I'm gonna go with something else. And now, depending on the background color, I could use something like this, move it behind me. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna move this here. And now I wanna change the transparency so that it's kind of fading out into the background. Then I move me back into the image and I make sure that I am in the middle, also to the front. So just click to the front and I'm in the front. So again, I would probably spend a little bit more time with fonts, colors, making sure that the background that I'm using, that it actually fits, actually looks good, it matches, all of those good stuff. But there you go. You have a couple of different backgrounds, images, layers, gradient layers, overlays, whatever you want to call them, patterns. You have graphics, 3D, uh, 3D objects that you can add on top of your image behind it. You have text patterns. You have graphics that are different, geometrical, abstract, 
objects, you have text patterns, a lot of different things that you can do inside of Canva. And the reason why I wanted to make this video right now is because we just updated the Canva module inside of the course, full-time funnel designer. So if you're not already in there, if you're not learning how to build funnels, to sell funnels to other people, to build them for clients and getting paid a thousand, 2000, 3000, up to 5000 or 10,000 for funnels and funnel bills for your clients, then you're missing out to be honest, because I'm actually making more money building funnels that I'm making selling courses or doing consulting or coaching because it's so much fun and there's so many people needing these services. So I'm not saying that for you to buy my course. I'm actually saying if you want to learn, we would love to have you. If you need support, we would love to have you. If you're good on your own, if you think that it's working out what you're doing right now, then by all means, keep doing that and keep watching these videos because hopefully they help out as well. But uh, that's it for this video. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.